Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Shayla. If this is your first time here, my collection is out now. It is finally available. My whole Proceed with Caution under construction collection is available. And so many people have been asking, I just wanna put this out there about the PR kits. Yes, they are available too. So go to colorpop.com, everything's there. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a look this look <laughs> so many people are asking me to film with the yellow and i was like okay let me let me make sure to film with the yellow you know and i feel like this is just like the look it's super cute little yellow on the inside so i'm basically going to show you all the products from my collection in this video i'm also going to try on both the lips originally i was like okay i'm just going to do one lip but no i'm going to show you kind of how to create that perfect lip um this, this right here to me is like just like the perfect nude. So you'll see me apply both of them. I'm going to apply both blushes and of course the Proceed with Caution eyeshadow palette. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I want to do a yellow. You know, we have to do, use the yellow. Everyone's saying use the yellow, use the yellow. So the other day I had like just a matte kind of natural eye, semi-natural eye with yellow hair. And I was thinking about filming that and I was like, no, we need something like dramatic. We need the drama. So I think we're gonna do kind of like a yellow to coral to brown black situation. We're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. We're gonna see what happens, okay? So I'm gonna start with culture. You guys know culture. This was in my perception palette. It's just a bomb, bomb shade. So I had to put it back in into this palette because it's like just the perfect transition color. I use it every day, like almost every day. I don't say every day, but almost every day. I definitely hit pan, okay. All right, next I'm switching to the smaller, I feel like this is like Beach Cosmetics, I don't know. There's like no number, is that number one? It's like a smaller blending brush and we're gonna apply maintenance, the shade right here, into the crease. Let me actually put it on the brush. So this is like a reddish brown. I love shades like this, you guys know this. And so I'm just gonna kind of like press this because it has pigment, honey, okay? So you wanna press this in the crease first and then go back and forth and kind of blend it out. So I wanted a color like this in the Perception palette, but it just didn't work out. It didn't make the cut. Um, we went with played out instead. So I'm just like obsessed with colors like these, especially for the crease. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the P. Louise eyeshadow base. This is color Rumor 05. Sometimes I'll use a color base. Sometimes I'll use 05. This one's like a little bit darker. And I'm just gonna put this all over the lid. I know you guys are gonna be like, how do you decide what color to use? Honestly, like, like which one did I grab? You know, <laughs> like it could have been either one. I could use the same color as my skin tone or go lighter. Typically I use the other color. This was just like right here. <laughs> this was, it was like laying right there. So I was like, okay, I'll just use that. <laughs> what to do, what to do. Okay, let me introduce you guys to Warning. She is just a really pretty kind of coral, but there's like a gold shimmer up in here. I think I'm just gonna start. Ooh! See what I'm talking about? Look, I gave y'all a warning. <laughs> No, but really she has so much pigment. I love this like metallic consistency from ColourPop. Ooh, look at that. So I'm just really just applying this on the center of the lid, leaving a little space on the inside. Should I leave some on the outside? Yeah. Cute, cute. I'm actually gonna bring this in a little bit because the yellow is pretty much gonna be just like right in the inside here. That in just a little bit. I love that. See, this could even be like a natural everyday look, like this right here. Look how amped up I get. I'm all, look, look, this is real cute. <laughs> all right, now I'm gonna go in with Hazard, this brown, sparkly, just really beautiful. This is all over the lid, you guys, it's so bomb. I'm just gonna put this kind of on the outside of the lid. See, can y'all see? Y'all see it? Ooh, pigment. So this is also a metallic color. You'll see me wear this all over the lid. I mean, I think I have in a couple videos and I just didn't tell you guys like what it was. <laughs> you know how that goes. All right, so I'm switching to a bullet brush. You can see I already put it on the side. <laughs> Did that off camera. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put a little bit of caution using like a smudge brush on the inside here. 
Another really great tip is to put punch or like, this is a ColourPop yellow cream liner. Put this on first. If you want it to be like really, you know, like dramatic. What was that? <laughs> if you want it to be like super bold, like my shirt, you could definitely use a base, but I'm gonna use the shadow by itself first. So you guys can kind of like see, see it, you know? You always wanna like tap off the excess before applying. Yes. Look how quiet I get when I'm focused. I'm like, ooh. I think I might have been like mesmerized a little bit. Just saying. Hmm. So that's the yellow without a base, without anything. It's basically like right here, it's like just kind of on my skin. So like I was saying, if you want it to be, you know, more vibrant or brighter or bolder, just put a yellow base under it. Looks really good. Okay, let's move on to the outside. So typically I do the darker shade in the crease before I put the lid color on. I don't know what changed today. I think I just got excited to put like color on. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go in, I'm just gonna wipe off like literally my little bullet brush I was using. Just like wipe it off on a paper towel. I believe in recycling brushes. I don't like to clean a bunch of brushes. You guys know this. I'm like, mm, we're gonna wipe it off and use the same brush. <laughs> All right, so this is Gloves On and I named it Gloves On because it's a darker shade and I feel like you need to put your construction site gloves on so you don't get dirty. You know what I mean? <laughs> Clever little thing I did there. Look at me, giving myself credit. So I'm just gonna press this on the outer corner. I love this color. I feel like with every shade, I'm like, ooh, that's like my favorite, but this is definitely like one of my favorite colors. I've been doing this a lot, just like on the outer corner of my eye like this and like smudging it and just like smoking out just the outer kind of B and it's been pretty, pretty good. So I'm just kind of dab, dabbing the color in the outer corner and the crease. It's almost like you're placing it. You know exactly where you want it to go. See how you can see there's like a little sparkle. All right, now with this little smaller brush, I'm gonna dip into gloves on barely, barely. All right, focus. Now I'm just gonna kind of blend this out. And I wanna make sure that my eye is kind of going like this instead of like So I'm just kind of applying it in the shape that I want it to look, which kind of means like more up and out versus like back and forth. So typically like, I feel like most of you guys would probably use um, or use, what am I talking about? I'm like so focused on blending this, I can't even talk. Most of you guys would apply your foundation after, which definitely recommend. I'm just so used to applying my foundation first, you know, and I just, I don't know, I don't have much spillage. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, you see that? Mm -hmm. Are we even, are we even? So I did this eye off camera because I'm doing the same thing, but I always wanna look straight, make sure we're even. I'm just like really liking how this is turning out. Yes! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna line in the waterline. This is ColourPop Punch, brand new. This actually came the day that I announced my collab and I was like, dang, perfect timing. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm gonna line my waterline with this. It looks kind of, well, I guess it does look yellow on camera. I was like, it looks more orange in person. Let's see how it goes. Oh, this is what I wore on Tuesday my video um, that I put up on Tuesday. There's a whole lot of yellow happening up in here. Yellow shirt, yellow caution tape, yellow eye makeup. I mean, it's kind of a vibe, huh? Hmm. Honestly, I could just like leave this just like this, you know, and go to Coachella or something. <laughs> I mean, I know Coachella is over, but this is like kind of like a Coachella-esque nighttime vibe. I'm gonna add a little bit more of gloves on just right here. Just like a little bit. See how it just adds like a little definition? I'll just show you guys this side too. A lot of times I'll apply a crease color while my eyes are open, just so I can like really place it where I want it to go. I don't even need to blend that, but I'm going to just barely, 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 barely. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so using my angled brush, I'm gonna put gloves on. What's going on with my voice? You guys hear that? It's hella like screechy and <laughs> raspy today. Okay, gloves on under the lash line. Put your gloves on. 
So I line the bottom and kind of connect it to the crease. All right, so now I'm gonna get my fluffy brush again and dip into gloves on just like a tiny, tiny bit and then tap off the excess. Like you don't want like a ton of product on the brush and I'm just gonna smudge this. I mean, you could definitely leave it how it was, but I really like that smudged look. If you want that kind of like grungy look, you could go in with maintenance, which is that like brownish, reddish color and smudge under. Mm. I wish you guys were like right here so I can show you in person. I'm like, it looks so much better in person. Okay, this is Swerve ColourPop's black eyeliner. We're gonna line the eyes. I think, am I gonna wing it? I may wing it. I'm just gonna see where my hand kind of takes me. Yeah, let's wing it, why not? Little baby wing. And you know what, actually I'm gonna make this like a little thicker. Just really take your time with the eyeliner. Like you see how I'm just doing like small little strokes. The one thing I don't rush is my eyeliner. Well, sometimes I rush it, but <laughs> today I am not rushing, okay. All right, I'm just gonna prime under my lash line with the Marc Jacobs Lash Primer just to make my lashes like really intense. And this is Climax from NARS. This mirror is bomb, by the way, in here. It doesn't make it like wavy. It's not cheap at all. It's really good quality for $12, that's all I'm gonna say. I love Witspy lashes, so these are Lila Lash from Lily Lash. With all these bad boys on here. All right, I'll show y'all this eye. Mm. Me and my sound effects, I'm like, ooh. All right, put a little climax on the bottom here. <laughs> This mascara is pretty good though. Look at that. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? I mean, I mean, what do you guys think? <laughs> cute, isn't it super cute? Okay, I love it. All right, let's move on to blush. I do want to show you guys both the blushes. So what I think I'm going to do is put on Construct first. Kind of like as a little bit of a contour and then a touch of whistle while you work, right? Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're gonna do? Yes. All right, construct. Show y'all, it's just like a neutral, almost like a bronze shade. So typically, especially with an eye like this, I would use construct. You know, I like that kind of neutral, like carved out look on the cheeks. Construct, see how it has like a little bit of like a cool tone to it. And this has a little bit of like a frost to it. Not like super metallic, but like a sheen. Make sure I'm even, shoot. All right, I know I just put like a ton of Construct on. <laughs> I love that. Wait, am I shiny? Hold up. Hold up, hold up. Let me get the hair. She is hydrated, okay. Hydrated. Okay, <laughs> whistle while you work. I know I put a lot of blush on. But you know, I gotta show you guys, you know? See that? Mm, see that? <sighs> These two shades together are like magic. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, because the eyes are so, you know, bold and yellow, we're gonna do a nude lip. I'm gonna start with BFF3 lip liner. Let me make sure I get the BFF, yeah, okay. First. You know what I kind of want to do? Show you guys both shades. So let's do speed up first. Okay, so we're gonna do both shades. I'll finish with the nude, but speed it up. Speed up comes with BFF3 lip liner in a bundle for $12. It's like, it's crazy. <laughs> and then separate, this is only six bucks. Bloop. All right, so the secret to putting pinks on is to just put it on the bottom lip and blot until you can't blot any longer. So look, okay, bottom lip. And what I do is I kind of like to like almost put my bottom lip a little bit over my top, like, you know, look at that. Hmm, hmm. And then you go back over it with a liner. So this is BFF three again. A lot of times I'll use four, I'll show you in a second. So really what this is doing is blending, you know? 
That's why it was really important for me to have a nude and like a darker shade to get like the perfect lip. Cause this is what I do. All right, now I'm gonna go in with BFF4. Ooh. See, people don't line their lips right. I see it all the time, it's a mess. <laughs> That's why I'm here teaching you guys, okay? A lot of times I'll see people put like a bright color on and like I could tell the liner is too dark and it was put on before and so it's almost like dark line and then there's like a separation in lip. I'm, I'm like, nah, I need to teach y'all. Okay, so see how it's like, it looks like it's fading from brown to pink? It's blended, you know? So now, BFF4, see how that cleans it up? And I kind of have like a light hand. Mm -hmm. See that? Right, can we talk about this? And there you have the perfect pink. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna play um, Slow Down. Okay, I just put a little foundation on here. Okay, so both of these lipsticks are satins and the reason I went with the satin is because unlike matte, you can touch up with this. So it's it has that same matte look and it feels matte. It's just not as, I don't wanna say dry because like, you know, but you know what I'm saying. Like not as dry and like, it's not like a nail polish, you know what I mean? Like, so with this, if you put it on and then eat, you can touch up with it. Whereas like the matte lipsticks, you can't really touch up. You almost have to take it off and put it back on. So that's one of the reasons why I went with the satin. Okay, so I'm gonna start with BFF3. See how this is like the perfect nude? And you could even fill in your lip a little bit like, you know, like that. So you'll know if something's a perfect nude because it almost looks like it could be your natural lip line. That's why I love this color. Okay, now we're gonna go in with Slow Down. <laughs> Can't wait for you guys to see this. Same thing, bottom lip only. It's about to be blending 101. Look at that. Same thing, BFF3. This is honestly perfect. This could be thick, this could be thin. Well, actually, I kind of like this applied thicker because it helps blend it. And then I keep dropping everything, you guys. Like, honestly, every video I drop, like, my floor, my carpet's black because I can't, like, well, my rug, I don't have black carpet, but, you know, I spill everything. Okay, so this is BFF4. So see, this could be like your everyday look, and then at night when you're like, hmm, add this. Or this could be your everyday look. Really, there weren't enough brown lip liners out there, so I was like, I need to make one. That's really how all this went down. I was like, we need a dark brown, okay? Ooh, There you have it, the perfect nude. Listen, you guys, BFF4 is gonna give you life, okay? It's gonna, it's gonna bring you back to life. It is everything and more. I'm so proud of this color. I'm proud of the lips. I'm proud of the blushes, the eyeshadow, everything. I just think you guys are gonna like it and it works on so many skin tones, you know what I mean? Like the palette, everything just is super inclusive and I was swatching with Jordan from ColourPop and like she could wear everything and she's on like the other end of the scale, you know what I'm saying? Like she's a lot more fair. So it's just like, I'm just happy that that it's just amazing. Boom, drops, drops wrench. <laughs> All right, guys, here is the finished look. I'm kind of digging it. I think it looks real cute. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. My collection is out now. Go to ColourPop.com. It's available now. Hurry before it sells out. The PR kits are available, and all the products are sold individually. So head over to the website. I think you guys are going to just love the price point. <laughs> Affordable. Bloop. Okay, bloop. And yeah, don't forget to hashtag me, ShaylaXColorPop, so I can see your look, so I can like it, I can comment, I can repost it on stories. I wanna see you guys in Proceed With Caution. I don't know what like that was. <laughs> that, me and my little sound effects, I don't know, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Comment below, let me know your thoughts on this look. Did you guys like it? Did you not? Like what's what's going on? And last but not least, shred and slay. <clears throat> check, 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 check. No project with with anyone will
And this could be thick. Someone might know. Magic. Okay, no more blush. No more blush. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-